Welcome to another episode about fountain modeling. Today I will show you how to add the final detail, export the model from Blender and import it with textures in Unreal. Before we export the model, we select all objects and combine the fountain into one. Then we click Ctrl A and select Apply Transforms. Click File, Export, Export as FBX, set the file name and click Export. In older versions of Blender, including mine, we also select Experimental Apply Transforms. I noticed that I didn't change the name of the fountain, so I do it now and export it again. The next day, when I sat down to work, I decided that we could add something else to this fountain. It's about damage at the edges. I start by duplicating the part that will be destroyed. Then I add edges which I cut off to leave only the thin strip. I slightly enlarge the newly created model so it's not flickering with the original object. After doing this, I remove the rough edge and add bevel to smooth it out. When I'm satisfied with the effect, I enter the UV editing window and move the fragment to the damaged strip. I don't care about the black background, as it will be transparent in Unreal. I found that the damage bar was too small from the distance, so I enlarged it a bit. In the same way we damage the upper part of the fountain. We duplicate the element and cut it to the size we are interested in. Now we do the same as with the previous destruction. We move to the texture on the UV map to place the destruction and enlarge it so there is no flicker. After creating the damage, I make sure that there is no cuts anywhere and export the model exactly as it was shown at the beginning of the video. Now we move on to Unreal. We start by creating a folder where we will keep our things, I named the folder Fountain. Drag the exported FBX inside and click Import All. Together with the model, the diffuse map that we had applied in Blender will be imported. Let's remove this texture and add the textures exported by Substance Painter to the project. Double click on the material called Trim Sheet and remove the texture that we have just deleted. Then we drag the three exported textures to the material and insert the channels in this way. RGB from diffuse to base color, RGB from normal to normal, and from the last texture R to ambient occlusion, G to roughness and B to metallic. Now I click Apply, return to the viewport and drag our fountain to the scene. Almost everything is correct. The only thing I need to improve is the transparency. To do this, we go to our material and change the blend mode from opaque to masked. Then I drag alpha channel from the diffuse map and plug it into newly created opacity mask option. 
We click apply, save and we can see from now on our material displays transparency correctly. I would also like to show the difference after adding damage to the edges. I exported the fountain again and replaced the file in Unreal. As you can see, the destruction works and gives us a nice unnaturalness on the edge. The last thing we do before moving on to the next episode is importing two plugins. HDRI Backdrop and Water Plugin. After doing this, we restart the engine. If you liked the episode, subscribe for more.